Hi, I have a Harbor Freight manual tire changer with the motorcycle tire changer attachment. And although it's not a good design to work with alloy rims or doesn't properly fit motorcycle wheels, I could see the frame is a good base to start from. After buying a lot of the add-on pieces to try and make it work properly, all of which came with their own issues and price tags, I ended up needing more arms than the two I own and having to come up with a different strategy for each different wheel. I wanted to have a tire changer system that would change different types of motorcycle and car tires, and the duck head attachment from professional units had all the advantages over the other methods I studied and tried. This video shows the modifications I have made to let me change tires on alloy motorcycle and car rims without scratching them. Got two stationary pads that replace the. Uh, I had the nylons inside those. Um, the problem with that, with the original system is, you've got two working on pins that are about every inch. When you set these to the right rim size, your center hole does not line up with the hole for the thread to go into. The next problem is the shaft on the Harbour Freight tire changer is an inch in diameter, which does not fit down through most holes in your bearings, so you would have to take the bearings out to use it. Um, with this rim, it was a single-sided swinging arm Honda VFR 1200F rim, so it has a large hole in the middle, which is another issue. Uh, hence, I added some bushing take the slack out in the center. Uh, this is a three quarter inch bar. It works great on most motorcycle bearings, which are uh, 20 millimeter inside diameter on the bearings, or at least all the ones I've seen have been. Uh, there are some exceptions, apparently Husqvarna, some of the big Husqvarna dirt bikes have much larger centers. In that case, we have to adapt to make it work. Um, this is stops the wheel rotating. And this just slides on. Got another rim pad and a peg which catches your spokes on the rim and stops it rotating as you send the tire lead around. Now you just place the wheel on, rotate it till it stops in an anti-clockwise direction. So this is one part of the kit that adapts your Harbour Freight motorcycle tyre changer into something that actually changes motorcycle tyres instead of something that only barely helps and annoys you. And here is how it helps taking a motorcycle tyre off. And we've got the bead broken on the tyre. We're going to make sure we've got plenty of lubrication around the first 180 degrees of the duck head travel. Here's the duck head, here's the pivot for it, and the input on the collet to get the correct height. Don't need to tighten these very much, it gets very solid when it's snug, and that only makes it more difficult for you to get off you put that on so that when you pull anti-clockwise the force is going onto the spindle and here's the duck head coming in you get that seated under the rim get it pushed in there and we line it up so that we can make 180 degree travel without any obstructions if you still have this arm connected that is um, then we turn it on. We insert this here on the duck bill that protects the rim from the tire iron. Lever it up, pull it over, and then we pull the tire iron out without touching. You see, it's not actually making contact with the rim. You can put that. This will fit in here. 
and then you can use that as a lever as well. But we have this lever that fits in both sides, there and over here. Grab that in there, okay. You pull back a bit and watch the duck head. And here we go. If you're struggling at this point, stop because you're doing something wrong because that should be so easy. And then we're just going to spin it around, bring the tower off. Put a lever down. Bring the tower up. Bring the back round to the starting position that we decided before. Pull the tire over the duck head, and we go in the same again. If you want to come around here, just pick up the other bead, bring it over the duck head, pull up the tire around. Place the lever in place. Right. And it nice and easy, walk it down, and the tire is off. And putting a motorcycle tire back on. So, to check the rotation of the tire, there's the arrow. Down here I have the rim mark, always a good idea. If you do that with all your wheels, because when you take them off, mark the direction of rotation once, it saves you having to figure it out each time. So the tire is going to go on that way. So let's take this bead, and our lubrication. <laughs> go around, it's already pretty lubed as we see. Make sure that will slide on nicely. That's the first half done. Set up the duck bill again. Same position that we did for taking it off. Pull the tire to you. Get the duck bill under the lip. Freehand, just get what you can, nice and easy, you don't have to struggle too hard on that. Get that in, reset the tire, duck, where we want it, lever in, and rotate. on, free hand out, okay. sometimes you can seat the bead without, with the, the old nylon rim clamps, you couldn't inflate the tire in this position you had to take it off because the rim clamps were holding it there but okay, we didn't get lucky that time so
pressure. Just down 30, 29. Also a bit. <laughs> there we go. Thirty five. See about the action yes. <laughs> Forty. Forty two. It now works great, but there were a lot of designs that I built that worked fine doing some of the tasks, but had issues in other situations. I'll post another video showing how you use the same arm and duck head on car tyres. This design works great on all the motorcycle, car and SUV wheels that I have tried it on.